So here we go everybody, welcome to game day, it's Boxing Day. I'm here in the fan zone, just chilling a little bit before the game kicks off. Town versus Oxford, one of the biggest crowds in town history on Boxing Day. Looking to bounce back of course after the Wickham game. I will admit, I'm a bit of in a food coma after um, the Christmas Day festive food. I'm looking forward to today. I'm going to be joined by Neil the Diamond for the team news. Let's get right into it and let's get out of this seat somehow. <laughs> No, couldn't do it. So here we go then. I'm joined by good old Neil, the Diamond. Hope you had a good Christmas, my friend. I did. It's very good, Ross. Hope very everyone good. else had a good Christmas very too. Good. Very good. Team news has dropped, my friends. Um, um, some big players are returning. Yeah, Your thoughts? Yeah, I think, I think um, I said to you off air before we just filmed this, I think i go as far as to say this is as strong as we get. Yep. You know, just a personal opinion. So um, the back three, I think, served us well. Danassian, Wolferden and Burgess yep. um, as a three. And then Burns on the right, Davis left. Evans and Morsey, which is great to see Evans great, back, yeah. isn't it? I think we've all missed him. And then we've got Chaplin, Harness and Ladapo. I think, you know, there's arguments Harness about... Harness making a start, of course, straight off the bat. I, Love that. Yeah, and I think, you know, there's there's an argument about, um, you know, who that three could be, but that's as strong as it gets. Strong. So I'm really looking forward to this, Ross. Yeah. And the history between these two sides is always goalless draws. But today, hopefully, of course, we're recording this now in the fan zone. So you're watching this when the game's done. But hopefully we're seeing goals and a very good game of football. I really hope so, Ross. And I think, you know, I think, you know, with the atmosphere, everything suggests nil-nil. <laughs> Love it. Um, of course, the fan zone is massive. It's great atmosphere. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get right into the game. Well, 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 what an afternoon here. Boxing Day, Christmas cracker indeed. Town free, Oxford United nil. I'm here with Matty Worrell. First of all, my friends, what a day. Massive crowd, big three points, bounce back town, love it. Yeah, brilliant occasion, man. A bit of festive cheer from, from town. Um, I was sort of just saying with, with some of the lads before we came on to do the recordings that I thought 20 or so minutes, it looked like we might have been uh, falling uh, prey to the Carl Robinson masterclass yet again, but um, we've overcome it. I think once we got through that sort of sticky period, um, we we were well in control of that game. And um, I think once we got that first goal, it really buoyed us, I thought. It did. You know, sometimes you get that first goal and you sit off, but they were right at it straight from the kickoff. Um, I thought Freddie Ladapo was absolutely brilliant today. He got his goal. I thought he was a real handful. That first 15, 20 minutes again, he wasn't really in it, but I think he adapted his game, got on the ball. It was great having Harness and yes. uh, Evans back. Um, and Dunashian, of course. Yes. Um, and you, you can't complain with a 3-0 win. Um, I think after the, the restart, they could have come out all guns blazing, but for once we've seen Ipswich actually strangle a game and really kill it off. And we need to do more of that, to be honest. But um, look, you can't be... You, you can't be too uh, too picky after you've you've won three 0 at home on Boxing Day with a with a bumper crowd like you say. Um, I'll be interesting to see Stu and Andy's ratings of the players because I don't yeah. think I could name a single player that's had a bad game. No, I mean even me. I think everyone had pretty good professional performance. Yeah. Um, um, Chaplin's continued his purple yeah. patch. Yeah, no, Burns no. got a goal. He's not scored yeah. for a while. Um, so really, obviously really pleased for Wes. And Gladapo's halfway to being that 20 goal a season striker at the halfway point of the season. Yeah. So we've done our job. We can't worry too much about what the other teams have done. I think we've just got to keep doing what we're doing. Focus on yourself. We've got to play everyone else again. Keep it going. Keep momentum up. Keep pressing. Love and Happy Love Christmas. Yeah. Come next, I'm joined by a very happy Peachy. A very happy Peachy. A good day, my friend. Um, I hope you had a good Christmas. I did. Did you? Yeah, I did. Glad very good it. indeed. Glad of it. Yes, man. Um, well. <laughs> We just saw a beautiful performance. I'm yes. using the word beautiful because, yeah, 3 0, clean sheet, bounce back. Happy days, your thoughts? Yeah, well, it's very suffocately beautiful because it was, was beautiful. Well, no, let's be fair. First 15 minutes, Oxford yeah. started the better. And I think if, just quick on Oxford, if they play like that, they'll go up the league a bit. You know, they, they did play some very good football, but once we got our rhythm going, we were brilliant. But I need to start this video by calling out Mr. Beck. Your man, Ladapo, had the best performance I've seen in a town shirt. Where are you? 
Not yet. But, you know, he's probably got his, you know, yeah, well, Mac, it's, you know Christmas. It's Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm only joking, Mark. I love you, really. But no, the, the whole team, like, you could... You can't pick a bad player out of that. Everyone played brilliantly, but my massive shout out to Lee Evans. Yes. Retired. To come out from injury and like wherever the ball was in the field, he was there winning it. He was just well awesome and like the link up with Leek Davis. So Leek, Leek, Welsh, fine. Leaf Davis, yeah. and Hansbury. And like the second goal for Wes Burns, that corner comes in and just pings it. This, Boom. this is what Boxing Days are made. I mean, I've been on football on Boxing Day to QPR many years ago. We got done three 0 left early, but today three 0 yeah, teams around us one, but all we can do is keep winning. That's what we need to do. Halfway through the season now, we're sitting second, averaging more than two points a game. This has to be our year, surely. Has to be our oh, year. Hopefully, mate. Once again, we've bounced back after a defeat. Um, quickly talk about the pick of the goals, because, yeah, some good goals, some good set pieces as well. It's great, good to see us scoring for those sort of set pieces. Yeah, well, well Chaplin's nice little curl in the corner. But I um, must give a shout-out to, obviously, Ladapo again. Like, yeah. Because I think it was a Chaplin had the first shot and he was just ready to pick up the loose yeah, ball. Boom. How many times do you see like the loose ball just falling from the keeper and it dies on it? Left up, I was there, bang, 1-0. And then I'd say, we control the game after that. But I'll, say, I'll keep on it, it's such a professional performance. And like when the ball were up five minutes, oh, it could be 10, because I'm really, really enjoying this. Yeah. But it's good, we've got players coming back, like Danassian was back in, Wolfie was back in after his six months, if you believe some things. Very good recovery rate, that is. And then, yeah, it's just, I'll keep saying it, it's brilliant. The town. This has got to be our year. It's got to be our year. Up the town. Up next, I'm joined by the wonderful Matty Macon. Always pleasure, my friend. Oh, bless you. Pleasure to be here. How was your Christmas? It was good. Yeah, yeah. Lots of foods, nice presents, you know. Got to see niece and nephew unwrapping uh, their presents. You know, it's always nice to watch kids yeah. enjoy Christmas. Yeah, it's good. And it's been, it's been wrapped off by uh, not a bad evening or afternoon today. Yeah, because it gets really dark nowadays. But yeah. I'm town lit up Portland Road with a 3-0 win. Your thoughts? Yeah, I thought first 30 minutes we struggled to get going a bit yeah. and a part of that was Oxford pressing quite hard that first 15 minutes. They stopped, I don't think they thought that they could keep it up so they stopped. But one, once we scored, I mean, we're, we're flying. Absolutely flying. That's probably overall, like you say, that take away that second 60 minutes so to speak you know take that first half hour out it's one of the best performances of the season. Scoring again I get from a corner. I mean, we could not score from a set piece for we couldn't buy a goal yeah. from a set piece, even up to last season, you know, and it's just you, every time we get one now, you think, oh, we might score from it, you know, and scoring at that time was good. And straight away, second half, we came out and straight away, we were down that left hand side, you know, and Harness is putting one in. And I thought, right, we, we didn't let Oxford get back into that game because they, they could have regrouped at Robinson, giving them a, a talking to at half time. Yeah. They come out and try and impose themselves, but we impose ourselves that second half, you know, and that third goal, it always felt like it was coming. Even like Oxford, they went up our end a few times. They, they, I never felt that they were really going to score, you know. When they did get forward, Walton was coming out well to claim the ball. Um, so, and I thought, well, we'll, we'll score again here. And, and then once we did, and so late in the game as well, that, that's it, bang, game over. And it's just brilliant, really brilliant performance. I think for me, man of the match got me Leif Davis. Yeah. He was excellent up and down that left-hand side, particularly in the in the first half. You know, that first half an hour, he was probably on the mate of mine said, "Oh, you know, he's probably he was the only player worth watching that first half an hour, and he was, and he he, he maintained that right across the game, and it's just he's just getting better and better every time you see him in a blue shirt." I want to talk quickly about the subs once again. Our st squad depth is back now because Harness came back, the mm. Evans. I just thought. It's just great to have now in the second half of the season. It's fantastic. I mean, you look you look at that, that triple sub at the end. Yeah. Um, obviously, KVY comes on for Wes Burns. Um, Edwards comes on um, as well. And then, obviously, uh, Evans goes off and Cam Humphries come on. And again, I, I turned to a mate next to me and said, that's not a bad, not a bad range of subs to be bringing on it at, in the 82nd minute, you know. And and again, likewise, we were able to make some changes up, um, bring uh, Freddie Dapper, who again, I thought had a good game. Scored a great instinctive goal for the first one, you know, and held the ball up well. But we were able to bring him off and took Jackson on and Sean Luco. Yeah, we've really got that, that depth. It kind of felt a lot of that felt that early part of the season before we started picking up those injuries here and there. And real pleasant surprise. It was obviously uh, Mark, uh, Marcus Hannes, I think, was the 19th man last weekend at Wickham. But there was sort of no shout that he would definitely be in the match of the squad, let alone starting, yeah. you know. And, and he managed, well, like I said, he, he came off for Edwards at the end. He managed almost 90 minutes uh, and looked show how his directness. I think we've missed that and I don't think we've realised we've missed that until we've had it back. Um, yeah, so hopefully we, we can keep people fit, uh, keep people coming back in. And it also it helps having Evans back 
Um, it kind of protects Cam Humphreys because no one expected him to play that much football. He's a great player. He's one for the future, but we don't want to burn him out too quickly. So hopefully now we're at this point where we kind of weathered the worst of the injuries. You know, obviously we've got a few that aren't going to come back. Panuche Kamara is probably not going to come back now. We know Don Ball's not going to come back. But we can strengthen a little bit when the window opens next week. And, and now, now is the time for us to push on. Oh man, thank Cheers. you very much. Come up next, I'm joined by good old George. Man, 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 what a day, what a performance. Your thoughts? Three goals, three points. On Boxing Day, my first ever Boxing Day Ooh. game. I know, I'm living it up. I'm actually being privileged. Usually I just sleep in Boxing Day and then go, oh, the football's on. But no, I'm here, I'm cold, but we've got three points, three goals. And you know what? We actually looked really, really good, apart from the first 15 minutes, which I thought, I don't know how we're not 2 0 down here. Luck in my eyesight. Well, currently there's a traffic jam. Of course, everyone coming out, 28,000 here yeah. today. Well done. But anyway, George, from yeah. that interruption, carry on. No, we're just getting a little bit distracted. That's actually quite interesting over there, you know, but you can't yeah. see over there apart from us. If you ever want to do game day, this is the best pop to get away from that yeah. traffic. Just come here, have a little chin wag, and then hopefully most of the time that is gone. But anyway, carry on. Yeah, yeah, we shall carry on. But you know, apart from the first 15 minutes, I thought we looked a little bit shaky. Ambulance, come, sorry, is the ambulance coming now? Oh my God. <laughs> it's go it's all go. Funny. I hope everyone's okay. I hope so, everyone is okay. This, um, is, this is traffic news now, not um, game yeah. day, I think. Hopefully everyone is okay, but carry on, my friend. Yes, I hope everybody is okay. But yeah, first 15 minutes, I thought we looked a little bit shaky. I thought we were going to go 2-0 down, but luckily my eyesight actually didn't fail me and it hit the side netting twice. And then we just kicked into gear, didn't we? We just looked absolutely dominant, uh, dominant, not dominant, fine, dominant. Fine. Uh, you're, with, you're, you're with me we're here, you know me, everyone knows I'm, I can, can't say words. I can now say apocalypse. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to try and attempt that at all because I'll absolutely butcher it. But yeah, we looked really good. The first goal, Chaplin, brilliant shot by him and Ladapo, right place, right time, bang. That's why we don't need a 20 goal season striker. We have him and he will score. And Bono celebrating the background because I said that. Um, and then the second one, wow, 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 wow. From the training ground, Burns near post. Nobody's marking him. Lovely ball by Davis, bang, in, beautiful. And then number three, Chaplin, all the time in the world. He got that in and sl slotted in there. Brilliant. But yeah, we're not top of the league at the moment, but you know, Plymouth just won, but we did well. I think we've done very well. And now I have to say, roll on Pompey. Yes, my friend. Top man. And finally, I'm joined by the one and only Bono. View from you two. Yes. Matt. Hello. What a day, my friend. Your Amazing. Thoughts? Christmas cracker. Yeah. Wasn't it? I was a little bit nervous headed today. I thought, oh, Oxford, it's going to be nil-nil. They're going to come and do the usual stuff, but they've actually been playing all right lately. We've kind of looked a little bit iffy at times. And the first 20 minutes, oh, it's like there was a few... There was There's a bit of an echo on this video. <laughs> Everyone said that so far. There, I like it because it's, there was it's a true. Few, there was it's a true. few passes going astray. Um, the crossing was was not good. But anyway, that's, that's the bad stuff out the way. Yes. 3-0, maximum points for me, if anybody's interested in the KOA prediction, prediction league. league. Boom, Boom. Boom. And um, yeah, just, 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 oh. I think it puts a lot of the demons to bed in terms of, are we going to do it, are we not? Bumper crowds, like that last kind of hour or so, we just played them off the park. I thought some of the movement down the left-hand side between Leaf, there it is, and Marcus Harness was just absolutely like superb. My boy, Ladapo. Well done, Freddie. I named the song after him. And um, yeah, just just absolutely great. Lee Evans coming back. I'll tell you what, this TB12 diet, other other sports nutrition stuff is available, guys. But Luco, Harness, and Lee Evans all coming back ahead of schedule was just absolutely amazing. So 3-0, three, three points, on to Pompey. Yes. Let's go smash them. Merry Christmas, everyone. Time, man. Thank you again for watching Game Day. See you in Pompey. Bye bye for now.